Hey hi welcome to Kids so Lab hope you all are doing well after a long period of time i'm back with the math activity commutative property for the addition and multiplication for the whole number as well as natural number but before that i want to give the tribute to my tamas a beloved father love you baba and miss you so much Let's start without wasting any time. So the activity is verify that addition is commutative for natural numbers. So for this we need ruler, a pair of scissors, color papers, any color paper you can take, and glue. So let's get started. So project copy. Just keep the heading that verify that addition is commutative. for natural number as well as whole number now take any color paper here back side of your activity book one color paper is there so i am using that one fold it the way it has given now cut it from the crease cut as per the length it is required now take the exact length of the white paper and fold with the same way and cut it from the crease now take the red paper strip and fold it into exactly half for this join the two ends properly Now again fold it into half and repeat it again. Now unfold it. You can see there are eight pieces. Now cut it from the crease. Do the same for the white paper strip. Do not skip and watch this video till the end. Again fold each strip to the half and cut it so that we will get tiny paper squares. Now paste the five red strips three white strips nearby it so what you will get five red strips and three white strips which will be equal to eight now in the second arrangement paste three whites and five red strips alternatively only by changing their position Here we have changed only the positions of the paper strips. So what we come to know and what's the conclusion? That three plus five or is equal to five plus three is equal to eight. It means it verifies that commutative property of natural numbers as well as the whole numbers for addition. Next move to the next. activity for multiplication take any color paper here i have used yellow color paper you can use any color paper and fold it twice and cut it from the crease if you are new to my channel then please subscribe and press the bell icon for further notification now fold the strips to 
exact half and repeat the same for four times unfold it and cut them into pieces here we can directly get the small square strips if you like this video then don't forget to turn white on blue Now arrange them in row and column wise. Here there are three rows and four columns. In this way or in this arrangement, we will show that how in multiplication also. changing of the placement or changing of the position of the number will never affect the multiplication in the second arrangement there are four rows and three columns so here in this case you can see that in the first arrangement there are three rows and in the second arrangement there are four rows in the first arrangement there are four columns whereas in the second arrangement there are three columns so here we can see that if you need to find out the number of squares then just multiply the row into column we will get 3 into 4 and in the second part we will get four rows into three columns that is 4 into 3 and By counting, you can get the same number of squares in both of the sides. Three into four is equal to twelve, and four into three is also equal to twelve, which verifies a into b is equal to b into a. It means change of position of numbers in the arrangement will never affect the products. Hence, multiplication is commutative for both whole number as well as natural numbers. Thank you so much for watching this video and stay tuned for this next part till then bye bye